Hi YouTube, Macklin here. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at first impressions at a tree helmet. It's the CT Ares tree helmet, and it's a white one. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and like I said this one, this video I'm going to be looking at the CT Ares tree helmet. There are a couple of versions of the Ares. This is the tree helmet version and I've got the CT visor on it as well. This is the AR visor so it's got like a bit of a, a smoke tint to it. It probably looks a bit darker here than it is but when you look through it you wouldn't know that it was smoked. It just looks like a normal lens really which is good but it's grey obviously in the sunny weather. Um, I've got the sword in earmuffs on here as well, the new kind of design ones. Apparently these are fully new, uh, like from the ground up kind of thing, fully new design in them. But personally they just look exactly the same as the other ones, Just they're just not grey, they're black. So what can I tell you about this helmet? First thing is that this GoPro mount on the top, I've obviously put that on myself. Um, I would rather have a, a curved one but yeah I've got that one on it. So I've had this helmet for a few weeks now and I've used it a few times. The first time that I, I used it was in the Lake District. It was horrific weather. I'm in the Lake District today. I'm testing out the new CT helmet, Arborist helmet. The cool little uh, visor on it. First time I've worn this helmet. It's slowly getting a little bit dirty. Um, we're pollarding this big ash tree behind me. The visor did steam up a little bit, but at the time I was wearing um, you know, the buff kind of things over your face and when you do that the, the the air from your mouth goes upwards that way and kind of goes behind the visor. That's something that I, I would mention about the visor is it's really snug and compact like against the helmet. It doesn't doesn't stick out, it's really flush and fits really well with the helmet. However it is it is a little short for my liking. Um, the cask one that, I, that I've worn in the past is slightly longer, the one that I wore at Beechwood. That's a lot longer. Um, that, however, is not to everyone's liking because it kind of touches your, your face here and it touches your nose. After a while you get used to it, just like wearing sunglasses. But if you don't like that, you'll love this one because it's slightly higher, but it's not as off the face as the Petzl ones are. So that's, that's really cool. It's got three points on the visor. There's obviously up where it's completely out of the way. Um, as you can see there. There's kind of like a medium one that's kind of like just just kind of intermediate, like out, out the way, but kind of just off your face. And then you've got one that's fully down that sits flush with the bottom of the helmet. You can see on the sides it's um, really compact and snug and really like aerodynamic kind of thing. <laughs> You're flying around the tree. But um, deer defenders also, moving to these, they sit perfectly on your head. There's a couple helmets, the cask in particular, that doesn't, I feel that they don't fit as good on your helmet. This feels a lot like, I'm going to say it, like a Petzl uh, Vertex. It does feel a lot like it, but for me, if you look at inside, it's a lot comfier. It fits on the head a lot better. Um, the suspension system inside is a lot better. The padding in, at the front of your head is really nice. It doesn't kind of rub on your face, on, your, on the top of your head, and feel horrible. Um, let's chuck it on. Show sure it looks like. It's got this um, this snap that kind of goes under your chin. Is built to snap under that like, heavy snagging, which I don't think I've seen before. It's not like a like an old bike helmet, but if if you pull that hard enough, like you know, see so you get snagged like that, and it ends up obviously the eight of it tighter. But if you had it it snagged back like that, you wouldn't strangle you. You know, if you got caught on a branch or something that fell or something like that. I'm going to try not shout now with these on. So they fit really snug all around your ear. And again, they're really flush down the side of your face. And then when you put the visor down, you can see that you've got this gap underneath here. That's kind of where the ear goes when I had me, when I had my buff on. Um, so I personally like it to be a bit lower down maybe there. But that's just personal preference really. It works really well. It doesn't kind of wobble about like that, it sits nice and snug, but you can see how compact it is and kind of smart it looks. You know, it's it, you don't look like an absolute clown, 
like you do with some helmets. You know, it's um, it's really comfy. It's got like the, the boa type system on the back where you can ratchet it up. I'm not sure what that one's called, but it's uh, it's really com it's a super comfortable helmet. Probably one of the most comfortable that I've ever worn, really. Colour wise, obviously this one's white. They come in black, and then they do like a high vis yellow and orange, and a red as well, I think. So overall, really, really nice helmet. The vents in the side aren't open. You can't open or close them. It's just they're open all the time, which doesn't make much difference to me really. I quite like that. And all this interior, all this interior section here, the uh, the pad across the front of your head, all this suspension system here, really simply just pulls out. Oh yeah, push that. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> I made myself like a fool. But you can just pull it all out and that can all be washed, which is really good. And it's all replaceable as well. The helmet weighs 400 grams without the air defenders and the visor. Obviously, as you can see, it has visor mount and uh, air defender mount. You can put different air defenders on here. It's the typical slot in air defender mount. You can also fit headlamps onto this as well. There is mounts for that, which are these, these two here at the front. So if you had a headlamp. There's also two clips at the back for uh, if you've got a head strap you know you can put the strap all the way around as well if you wanted to and see these at the front so um so they're really good so it's made in italy by ct climbing technology i'll put all the links in the description where you can go and find it uh, if you google it you'll be able to find a local distributor as well depending where you are in the world and um if you go online if you go on the ct's website it'll give you all the details to the, to the helmet and the two different types of visors it'll show you those as well um, but what's really good is you have all the documentation that you can download so it shows you the instructions of how to put everything on it shows you how to wash the inside and it also has a um, like a and that like a, a regular check sheet so you can it shows you what to look for in terms of damage and where it needs replacing and things like that which you, you tend to get with most products but it's usually in a little tiny booklet and no one ever reads them so it's good to have them online where you can either save it to your phone or You'll get the PDF and print it off, whatever. So that's really good. So overall, first impressions, I'm really pleased with it. I, I really like it. It seems like a robust helmet. The visor, like I said, is is really important to me. I like having the visors over the mesh ones because um, I really struggle with like with dust just going in my eyes or sawdust. I, I just don't like the the mesh ones. So that was really important for me uh, that it fits well and yeah, I do like it. But like I said, I would prefer the longer one. And it's it's just super comfortable, just really comfortable, easy to wash, nice and hygienic, and um, yeah, I really like it. So check out the links in the description. Go and have a look, see what you think. The price point of these it, it does vary, so I'd have a look online and just try and find a, your local distributor and see how much they are. But I would certainly, if I was going to compare it, first impressions kind of thing, to other helmets, it's very similar to you know the Vertex. So. Yeah, actually, what? Hey, there's one. As you can see, look at that. It's like I planned it, which I didn't, because that just lives up there. But you can see the difference though. That's this is an old vertex. I'm not sure what year this is, but um, yeah, it's a very very similar design. Um, but personally, I find this a lot more comfortable. So, so yeah, so hope you like the video. I'll try and release another one in the future once I've worn it a bit more and I've got a bit more of a long term kind of opinion on it I suppose but yeah overall really like it leave a comment down below if you like the video and if you've got one or if you have any questions I'll like I said I'll be work, continue wearing it and I'll try and get back to you with the answer and um, yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit that button down there there'll be more videos coming I'm sure in the shed so make sure you check them out and thanks for coming if you've watched this far through the video I really appreciate it and hopefully you've gained something from it if there's anything else you'd like me to chat about or what my opinion on or whatever, let me know in the comments. So, thank you. See you in the next one. Uh -huh.